So there's this guy on YouTube, and he says that we can know that the supernatural is real because, get this, we have free will. Of course, he doesn't actually demonstrate that we really have free will, and all the available scientific evidence points against that. But then the most interesting thing he says is this. When people say they're making choices, they certainly don't mean that there's some kind of random dice rolling going on inside their head that's producing those choices. Choices are made for specific reasons, but those reasons are subjective to the individual mind making the choice. Free will entails that choices are made in a non-deterministic and non-chaotic way. Since in materialism the only two options are either determinism or chaos, this is something that only a supernatural soul, not bound by physical laws, could explain. On materialism, there's simply no possibility for human free will. Yeah, but see, here you got a problem. Because there's really no middle ground between predetermined and random. If something is not predetermined, it is random by definition. That's what random means. And you say that we make choices for subjective reasons. But if there are reasons for the choices that we make, then those reasons determine what those choices will be. So you're not really getting away from determinism here. Our choices are determined by our prior considerations. But maybe what you mean here is that what the mind does is not determined by material physical processes. But this is demonstrably false. As I said in a recent previous video, there's absolutely no aspect of the mind that you can point to that cannot be altered by altering corresponding processes in the brain. You can alter perceptions, emotions, judgments, identities, and if you can alter all of these things deterministically by altering the brain, how can you say that the mind is free from the brain? But he took issue with this assertion. He said, this isn't an argument, it's just an assertion. There is no aspect of the mind that cannot be altered by making corresponding changes to the brain. That's a statement of materialism, not a statement of fact. Okay, so name an exception. Identify some aspect of the mind that cannot be altered by altering the brain. If it really exists, this should be pretty easy to do. If you can't even think of an aspect of the mind that cannot be altered by altering the brain, then you have no basis on which to assert that such an aspect of the mind exists. But then, of course, there's nothing about the idea of the supernatural that really makes any sense. So I asked him, if the mind is a non-material entity and more than just neurological activity, how does neurological activity affect it? Whoops, typo. The idea that something material can affect something non-material, or vice versa, is incoherent. How can a material thing cause change in a supernatural thing? And he says, I don't have answers to those questions. I don't know how it all works. Do you know how and why gravity works? And I reply, it's not just that we don't know how the non-material can interact with the material. It's also absolutely nonsensical to assert that it does. How one physical object can affect another is clear. How a non-physical thing can affect a physical thing is unfathomable. And then he says, what you are or are not able to fathom is not the test by which truth is decided. Well, actually, it is. You see, in logic, a statement has to have a meaning before you can say that that statement is true. If a proposition cannot even be fathomed, if it can't be thought at all, then it essentially has no meaning. It's not really saying anything. And it can't be saying anything true if it's not saying anything at all. Interaction between the physical and the non-physical is not just some scientific mystery that we don't understand yet. The very concept is incoherent. Although mind-body dualists are right when they say that the mind is not a physical object, but they're wrong to say that it is a non-physical object. The mind is a series of neurochemical events. It's not really a thing at all. A thing could only ever be something material. When you assert the existence of the supernatural, you're not really asserting the existence of anything. If a thing exists but it's not physical, what is it? You only ever talk about what it's not. You never actually explain what the supernatural actually is. And I can't even understand how you can expect me to believe in something when you can't even explain to me what this thing is that you want me to believe in. Materialism!